Today, we're doing a brick unboxing. Coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has a winning role for our gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Please visit Trollandtoad.com and use the promo code MrClicksFlicks for 5% off your Heroclix purchase today. All right, today is the day we are unboxing a full brick of DC Rebirth Hero Clicks set. Uh, thanks to our friends from Trollandtoad.com for providing this to us uh, free of charge to me. Uh, so thank you for them for sponsoring the channel uh, and just uh, being a great uh, a great uh, place for people to uh, get Hero Clicks and just gaming products in general. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, crack this open. We're going to start at the front booster far left work our way to the right and uh, see what happens so let me go ahead and uh, get the cellophane off here and uh, we'll get started all right so we got the uh, brick unboxed uh, out of the cellophane not unboxed yet uh, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the artwork first so here we are we got the trinity up front batman uh, superman batman wonder woman then we've got justice league batman family Dark Knight's Metal are the chases. Uh, these are pretty pretty highly sought after. Really popular storyline. And then we've got Teen Titans and Justice League China as other subsets, uh, sub themes within the set. Uh, so what we're hoping for is for three super rares and one chase or one prime. Uh, there have been tales of one chase and one prime being in a brick. Uh, I'm not going to hold out hope for that, though. Uh, I've been pretty lucky the last couple unboxings, so at some point that's got to break. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and see what's in this. So here we are. What do we got? We got all right, Superwoman, Colonel Poison, Rose Wilson, Power Girl, the common version, and The Flash. Yep, this is The Flash uncommon version so pretty cool there got a rare uh people are gonna like this uh superwoman i like this rose wilson uh and this power girl is actually pretty good too so uh pretty excited about that booster moving on to booster number two second uh far left back row let's see what we got here all right and we've got steel jericho power girl the common Dolphin, the rare. I know a lot of people were really excited about her. And Phobos? Yeah, Phobos uh, is there. Uh, these, there's another one that looks exactly like him, but the hair is on the other side. Uh, so a little confusing there. Uh, but uh, these are pretty cool here. Uh, Jericho is pretty decent. Uh, people like this Dolphin. Power Girl again is good. So not a bad thing. Uh, so we've got two rares, no super rares yet. Uh, so let's see. Second from the left, front row. Uh, as far as super rare goes, really anything would be good. But um, really looking forward to uh, Starfire, um, the Black Canary, um, whatever one, the Bomber one, and uh, Mr. Oz are probably the most powerful ones. So let's see what do we got. We got... Adeline Kane, Jericho, Tempest, he's actually really good, um, Nightwing, and our first super rare, Flex Mentallo, whatever his name is, Flex Mentallo, yeah, so pretty cool there, I like the sculpt, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. Flex Mentallo is number 58 in the set. He has the Doom Patrol, Celebrity, and Past Keywords. He has a trait, a special on his defense, and a special on his damage. His trait is called The Insult That Made Me a Man. Super Strength, once per turn, when an opposing character of higher points hits Flex Men Mentallo. After resolution, roll a d6. Heal Flex Mentallo, equal to half the result. So really cool there. Uh, healing's always helpful. Uh, then the special on his defense is called My Famous Hero Halo. Energy shield deflection. Toughness. When an opposing character makes a range attack targeting Flex Mentallo, 
modify their damage minus two. So really cool there. It gives you a plus two defense against range, plus gives you toughness, plus gives them minus two damage. So if they have a three damage figure at range, uh, they get minus two and your toughness soaks it up. So really cool there. Uh, and then the special on his damage is called... I flexed hard enough to turn the pentagon into a circle. Free. Choose a piece of blocking terrain within five squares. This turn, characters treat that piece of blocking terrain as clear for movement and line of fire, but it still can't be occupied. That is a really cool ability there. Uh, I could see that being broken in some aspects, so interesting to see uh, what happens with that. Uh, he is 75 points and was created by Daniel Leon, the 2016 Heroclix Chilean National Champion. So thank you for this figure. Uh, really cool. Uh, and he starts off at 75 points with an 8 movement with charge, 11 attack with TK, 18 defense with impervious and indomitability, and 3 damage with that special. You know what? For 75 points, this guy's pretty interesting. The celebrity keyword's actually pretty decent. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked about this. Pretty excited to try it. Uh, definitely uh, has some supporty type things that he can do, uh, as well as uh, you know that charge super strength for possibly five damage uh, makes it so that you really don't want to go to sleep on him too much as an opponent either. Uh, so really cool figure. All right, second from the left back row, we got one super rare. Hopefully two more to go in a chase. Let's see how it goes here. Oh man. Okay, which way are we doing this? Which way are we doing it? All right, so we've got Wonder Woman, amazing sculpt for a common. Deathstroke, really good figure. Beast Boy, phenomenal figure. Murder Machine as a chase, oh my. He is uh, really good. He's one of the better chases in the set. And Mr. Terrific, this guy's really good too. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at Murder Machine and how good he actually is. The Murder Machine is number 62 in the set, and he is a chase. He has the Dark Knight's armor, monster, and robot keywords. He has improved targeting, destroys blocking. He has three traits and a special on his damage. His first trait is called the Alfred Protocol, knockback. When the Murder Machine KOs an opposing character, doesn't include KOs by knockback damage. After resolutions, he may make an attack can trigger multiple times per turn. So that's really cool there. Uh, right now with um, how many pog generators there are and cheap colossals, uh, I think this guy's going to make a big splash. Uh, then his other trait is called Reckless Disregard for Life. Once per turn, when the murder machine targets and hits a single opposing character with a close attack after resolution, deal that character deal each other character that is adjacent to either the murder machine or the target one penetrating damage including friendly characters and usually the target so pretty cool there getting extra damage is cool uh, murder machine just doesn't play well with others on his own team uh, then his last trait is called we shall not uh, we will not hide in the shadows anymore when the murder machine occupies clear terrain and is targeted by a range attack modify defense plus one when targeted by an opposing character that can use stealth modify defense plus one when targeted by an opposing character occupying hindering terrain modify defense plus one these modifiers stack so potentially a plus three defense is uh, pretty powerful uh, then his uh, special on his damage is called technomorphing probability control and shape change the murder machine has two point values 200 points and 100 points the 200 point line starts off with a 7 range dual target, 10 movement with running shot, 12 attack with energy explosion, 18 defense with invincible and indomitability, and 4 damage with that special. And then at 100 points, he starts off with a 9 movement with sidestep, 11 attack, energy explosion, 18 defense, invincible, and indomitability, and 4 damage with that special. Man, both these clicks are really good. I'm um, having a hard time with uh, some of the add-ons that you can put on him. Not saying just go with 100 points, but man, this guy is just really good the whole way around. Definitely a meta figure through and through. Happy to have pulled him in this part. All right, next up, dead center, front row. Let's take a look. We already got a chase. We got one super rare, so we're looking for two more super rares. Fingers crossed, another chase. Maybe a prime. We'll see. Pulling. Let's see. How do we do here? We got Terra, K-1, 
Kid Flash. Desmos, he will go nice with Phobos. Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Pretty cool. I really like this Aquaman sculpt. Uh, so pretty cool there. Again, that, uh, that Wonder Woman is just awesome. Next booster, dead center back row. Let's see what we got here. We got, boop. We got Rose Wilson, Adeline Kane, um, Athene, uh, I'm sorry, Artemis, Power Girl, the Uncommon. She's actually deceptively good. And the rare Superboy. Uh, this guy's actually pretty decent for 75 points. He's got a mass of 14 movement. Uh, so pretty cool there. Uh, that That's a nice figure there. All right. Last four boosters. Hoping for two super rares out of them. Uh, this is uh, second from the right front row. Let's see how we do here. Boop. Whoa. Nelly, this brick's good. Okay. Uh, so we've got Ravager, Superman, Perez, Bizarro Superman. So we got the super rare Prime figure and Deathstroke. So before we even get into this, we got a super rare, a Chase, a super rare Prime, the hardest Prime in theory to get. And we still got three boosters left. This guy's, this guy's pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look at him now. Bizarro is number 59B in the set. He has the Outlaws, Brute, and Monster keywords. He has improved movement, it destroys blocking, and has two traits. His first trait is called Dark Trinity. When Bizarro attacks, modify attack plus one for each other friendly character with the Outlaws keyword adjacent to the target. So pretty cool there. Plus one attacks, always good. And uh, that's just a handy trait. His other trait is called Freeze Vision. When Bizarro hits one or more characters after resolutions, roll a d6. Four, th four and five, a hit character gains a mobile until your next turn. Six, all hit characters gain a mobile until your next turn. So pretty cool there. Uh, he is 125 points, has the Outsider's Team ability, starts off with a three range single target, 11 movement with charge and the flight ability, 11 attack with Quake, 18 defense with Invincible, and 5 damage with Battle Fury. This guy's just a hoss the whole way around. For 125 points, I, I'm i having trouble thinking of a better figure at 125 points, at least in this set. So, really cool. Super happy that we pulled this guy. Alright, so I'm not sure where to go from here. Hopefully we've got one more Super Rare left because the Super Rare Prime team tends to take a spot of a Super Rare. But we're going to take a look. This is uh, second from the right back row. And let's see. Let's see what we got here. We've been. This has been a phenomenal brick. So thank you, Troll and Toad, for this. And, all right, as the cards go a-flying, the boosters go a-falling. All right, we've got Justice League China Batman. Terra. Jericho. Tempest again. He's really good still. And Nightwing. So, pretty cool booster there. That's a cool booster. That Batman's actually not too bad. So, excited for him. Let's put those cards back before we lose them. All right. And here we are. Coming into the home stretch. Last two boosters. Fingers crossed for a super rare. Far right booster. Front row. No whammies. Let's see how this goes. Boop. And we've got... Duke Thomas. Kid Flash, another Kid Flash, Citizen Steel, I'm sorry, Commander Steel, and Bumblebee. So pretty cool there. Uh, neat booster. That's kind of cool that you got two Kid Flashes in there. So real cool there. All right, last booster. Fingers crossed for Super Rare. Feels a little weighty, I'm not going to lie. So we'll see what's in here. All right. Thank you for joining me uh, on this. Before we open this last booster, make sure to stop on over at trollandtoad.com. Use promo code MrClicksFlix for 5% off your HeroClix order today. Uh, great company to deal with, and thanks again for sponsoring the channel. Here we go. And here we go. We got... Okay, we did get a super rare. We got Cyborg. Aqualad, uh, Veronica Kale, 
Justice League China, uh, Superman, and a really cool looking sculpt, if I can ever get it out of the bu bubble, which by the way, um, good on WizKids for starting to do this with some figures. It's, it's really helped uh, keep the figures nice in shipping. We've got Robin right there. So really cool looking Robin there. Uh, let's go ahead and get him on the pedestal and take a look. Robin is number 50 in the set. He has the Batman Family, League of Assassin, Teen Titan, Animal, Assassin, and Martial Artist keywords. He has two traits, a special on his movement and a special on his defense. His first trait is called Super Sons. Robin can use the team abilities of friendly characters within four squares unless they are uncopyable. So pretty cool there. That's just generally handy. His other trait is called Titans Reborn. When Robin is given a move action after resolutions, he can use the Titans team ability at no cost. So that's pretty cool there. That's normally a power action. So definitely helpful. Uh, then the special on his movement is called Dive Bomb Charge. When Robin uses it, you may choose not to have his speed. If you do, he must move in a direct path. Full movement charge is just always good. Uh, and then the special on his defense is called In Goliath's Good Graces, Giant Size, Invulnerability, Adjacent Friendly Characters, Modified Defense, Plus One. I don't see a scenario where that's bad basically ever. Uh, he has two point values, 125 points and 75 points. Has the Teen Titans and Batman Family team abilities. Has a six range, single target at 125. He starts off with a 10 movement with that special and the flight ability. 11 attack, 18 defense with the special and indomitability, 4 damage without wit. Then at 75 points, starts off with a 10 movement with charge, 10 attack, blades, claws, fangs, 17 defense with that special and indomitability, 3 damage with leadership. Man, both those point values are good. I'm depends on what you need on your team as to which one I'd say is better. They both definitely play a role. Uh, so WizKids is definitely doing better with the split dials, making it so you run around, want to run both of them. So really cool there. All right, guys, that's it for the unboxing today. Let me know what your favorite pool was in this unboxing. Uh, again, thanks to TrollandToad.com for sponsoring the channel. That's all I have for you guys today. As always, please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control.